Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have x plus 2xy plus y is equal to 22 and we have to find the values of x and y where x and y are positive integers. But before we begin, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Now I think the easiest way to start with this problem is to use factorization method. But if you look at the left hand side of the equation, you can see we have three terms, which will make the factoring a little bit difficult. So to avoid this, let's go ahead and then make it four so that it will be pretty much simple, right? So the first thing we are going to do is to multiply two by two so that we get two X plus four X Y plus two Y is equal to 44. Great. Now you can see that the terms are still three, so it will still make the factoring difficult. So let's go ahead and then add positive one to the both sides of the equation. So we have 2x plus 4xy plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 44 plus 1 is 45. Great. Now you can see we have four terms over here, so we can easily factorize. We have 2x here and then 4xy here. So this means we can take 2x common. So we have 2x into 1 plus 2y, then plus, and we can put this one in brackets. So we have 2y plus 1 over here, and this is equal to 45. Now, since this one is equal to this, because addition is commutative, we can write this as 2y plus 1 times 2x plus 1, and this is equal to 45. Now remember, the right hand side is never equal to 0, so we can say that 2y plus 1 is equal to 45, or 2x plus 1 is equal to 45. No. Now, here is the deal. 45 could be written as 3 times 15. It could also be written as 9 times 5, or 1 times 45, or negative 1 times negative 45, and so on and so forth. But remember, in the question we were restricted, x, y are positive integers. What does that mean? It means that x and y should be greater than or equal to 1. But from this equation, 2x plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 3, and then 2x plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 3 for us to get x and y to be a positive integers. So what are these ones also means? It means that these individual values multiplying to get this 45 should be greater than or equal to 3. So if you look at these ones, you can see that this one is less than 3. This negative one is also less than 3. So we are not going to consider these ones, right? So our focus is going to be on these ones. Now we don't want to be biased. We want to be fair enough. So we can straight away say that this 2y is equal to 3 and then this one is equal to 1. If you do that, you are cheating and we don't want that. So in being fair to these people, we will consider cases. So case 1, we have 2y plus 1 is equal to 3 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 15. Or it could be that 2y plus 1 is equal to 15 and... 2x plus 1 is equal to 3. So this is the first case. If you do this, you are not cheating anybody. You are treating them equally, right? Now consider the second case, which is case 2. Now let me change my marker. From case 2, it could be that 2y plus 1 is equal to 9 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 or 2y plus 1 is equal to 5 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 9. Great. So let's consider them one by one. Now from this first equation solving for y, we have 2y is equal to, if we bring this one here, we have the right hand side to be 2. So this implies that y is equal to 1. Then from this equation, we have 2x is equal to, bringing this one to the right hand side, we have the right hand side to be 14. Now, dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have x to be 7. Right. Now, let's consider this equation as well. From this equation, we have 2y is equal to 
14. So dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have y to be 7. Then from this equation, we have 2x is equal to 2. Dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have x is equal to 1. Great. Now let's come to the second case. From the second case, we are saying that 2y plus 1 is equal to 9. So we have 2y is equal to, moving this one here, we have here to be 8. So dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have y to be equal to 4. Right? y to be equal to 4. Done? Then let's come to this equation. We have 2x plus 1 is equal to 5. So moving this one here, we have 4 over here. Then dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have this side to be 2. Great. Now let's come to the last one, which is this one. So from the last one, we have 2y plus 1 is equal to 5. So it means that we have 4 here. Dividing each side of the equation by 2, we have y to be equal to 2. Then from the last one, we have 2x is equal to 9. Then moving this one here, we have the right-hand side to be 8. Now dividing the side of the equation by 2, we have x is equal to 4. So in all, you can see that x, y is equal to, when x is equal to 7, we have y to be 1. Then from here, when x is 1, we have y to be 7. Then from this side, when x is equal to 2, we have y to be 4. Then lastly, when x is equal to 4, we have y to be 2. And this is pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like, subscribe, and also don't forget to comment in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.